Murkowski. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And in deference to my colleagues, I, I will be brief here with my comments. I appreciate not only the fact that, that we are able to move um, these 11 today, this approach that <clears throat> that we have taken in this committee to try to advance the nominees in a timely manner, I think is appreciated by the committee, um, by the Senate, and clearly by the administration. Uh, this is a large number that we're moving forward, but I think it's a reflection of the fact that these previous appointees um, have now left the Department of Energy and the Department uh, of Interior. Few of these have proven to be controversial, and so the fact that we'll be able to, to advance nine of them uh, on block, I think, is, is good. I, too, will support all 11 of the nominees before us today, and I'll do so because I think that Secretary Moniz and Secretary Jewell need some strong teams around them with capable individuals who can guide their actions and, and really improve the quality of the decisions. I've said before, and I will repeat again, I think Secretary Moniz is putting together a good team at DOE. I've been impressed with his selections. I had a chance to speak with him just last evening, and, and I told him that directly. I can tell you, though, that I haven't had the same favorable opinion uh, with the Department of Interior. And foremost, in my mind, and I think many of my colleagues have heard this, was the Secretary's very heartless rejection of this short road, which would provide the residents of King Cove with emergency medical access to an all-weather airport in, in Cold Bay. At the time that the Secretary made her announcement and she had called me in Alaska, it was the day before Christmas Eve. And she told me there's no, there's no good time to deliver bad news. I would agree with that. But I would argue that a large part of her job is to make sure that we don't have bad news in the first place for anyone, um, but especially in Alaska, where it seems that of late that is all that Interior has been offering us. And I would also suggest that sometimes bad news is the result of a misguided decision. So when I vote in favor of these Interior nominees, this morning, I'm going to be doing so with the expectation that their confirmation is going to lead to better leadership and better decisions than we have seen uh, of late. Now, you mentioned the other two interior nominees um, that will be held for the time being, uh, Rhea Sue, Janice Schneider. I think there's enough concerns um, of mine or other members that we believe their nominations will need to be reheard. So I appreciate your, your willingness to, to do just that. I don't know, Mr. Chairman, whether or not this is going to be our last markup together or maybe our next to last, but uh, in the event that it is, I just want to state in front of my colleagues and state for the record that working with you has been uh, a real privilege. It's been um, a great opportunity to, to work on some issues that I think we care deeply about uh, that are not without controversy and with, with uh, good effort and good faith, I think we've made some progress. In the rankings, and I think our colleagues should appreciate this, but in the rankings of Senate committees in this Congress, we are the leader in the measures that have been reported and signed into law, and that doesn't happen by accident, so I appreciate your leadership.